For nearly 10 years, TV viewers got to experience a journey aboard a cruise ship nearly every Saturday night as the love boat brought the misadventures and romantic escapades of the luxury liner life right into their living rooms. With a roster of memorable characters like Captain Steubing, Gavin MacLeod, Doug Brooker, Bernie Capel, Burl Gopher Smith, Fred Grandy, Julie McCoy, Lauren Hughes, and the finger gun flailing Isaac, Ted Lang. The series was an immediate hit, lasting from 1977. The Love Boat follows the Love, American-style anthology formula. The Love Boat was unique for television at the time, in that it was centered around multiple vignettes every week, chronicling the comedic and romantic misadventures of an ever-changing group of passengers and the stalwart crew of the ship. The separate storylines would all have different writers and weave in and out throughout the episode. It wasn't a typical sitcom, nor was it a sketch comedy. It was a style that executive producer Aaron Spelling directly modeled after ABC's early comic hit Love American Style. Aimed at an older audience, with an eye on comic hijinks dripping with sexual tension, the Love Boat found an audience instantly, debuting at number 14 on the Nielsen charts and staying strong until the finale. The show was based on a tell-all book by a real cruise director. There's more reality to The Love Boat than most people would assume. The show was actually based on a book titled Love Boats by Geraldine Saunders, the first female to become a cruise director for Princess Cruises. The 1974 book is a tell-all, revealing anecdotes from Saunders's decade-long career at that point as a cruise director and the various run-ins she had with colorful passengers, crew members and exotic destinations. It was turned into three TV movies first. Before The Love Boat became a weekly television show, ABC tested the waters with three made-for-TV movies acting as pilots. The Love Boat, 1976, The Love Boat 2, 1977, and The New Love Boat, 1977. The Love Boat 2 saw the eventual TV cast appear in early versions of their famous roles, including Bernie Capel, Ted Lang and Fred Grandy. And The New Love Boat was basically a pilot for what the finalized series was going to be. After three TV movies and an overhaul of the cast, the Love Boat was ready to officially set sail on the 24th of September 1977. Robert Reed and Florence Henderson guest starred, but not as Mark and Beryl Brady. The Love Boat was a destination for countless celebrity guest stars over the years. Each week, stars from both the big and small screens would make appearances, including Betty White, Joan Collins, Alan Thicke, Jane Kelly, Hulk Hogan, Jeffrey Tambor, and Janet Lee. The Iron Woman of Love Boat guest stars was none other than Florence Henderson, who boarded the Pacific Princess a staggering nine times, playing various characters. During one of her guest stints, the boat was also boarded by Robert Reed, who obviously played Mr. Brady on the Brady Bunch. Though the two were in separate vignettes and weren't playing their former married selves, the show did acknowledge their sitcom past, as Henderson briefly sees Reed's character and the two share a knowing glance. Charlie's Angels were once on board for a crossover. In addition to The Love Boat, Spelling had another project on ABC, Charlie's Angels, which preceded Love Boat by one year in 1976. So it was only natural to melt the two series, which have as little in common as humanly possible, for a 1979 crossover. In the two-part episode, Love Boat Angels, the Angels board the Pacific Princess in order to retrieve stolen pieces of art on a voyage to the Virgin Islands. Though the episode was about the Angels doing their Angel thing, the Love Boat favorites like Captain Steubing, Isaac, Doug Bricker and Julie McCoy all made appearances. Only three actors appeared in every episode of the show. During the Love Boat's nine years on the air, plenty of the ship's crew came and went, but three actors were on board for the series' entire 250-episode run. 
Gavin MacLeod, Bernie Capel and Ted Lang. Freddie Grandy came close, starring in 246 episodes across the entire length of the show. Lang, Capel and MacLeod also starred in the 1990 TV movie The Love Boat – A Valentine Voyage and made appearances on Love Boat – The Next Wave. The show was filmed on real boats with actual passengers. To shoot the love boat, you need a boat, right? To make the boat come alive, the production shot on two real cruise ships, the Pacific Princess and Island Princess. Real cruises were booked and actual passengers played extras during certain scenes that required a more authentic look. For the actual people on vacation, filming was just an added bonus, as actors would get a raffle ticket at the end of each day they filmed. The cruises known to double as shooting locales would always sell out. Filming aboard an actual ship wasn't the norm, though. Like any sitcom, the love boat was mostly shot on sound stages that could create the look of a cabin, dining area or a ship's hallways. Passengers paid thousands of dollars to be on board while filming. Those were no ordinary extras milling about the deck. Fans could shell out for tickets and sail alongside the cast and crew. For example, when the love boat went to Hong Kong in season 7, tourists paid between $3,370 and $8,550 for the cruise, according to a 1983 article in People.